the national park and here's the mountain Numpoko. Yes, we are going to ride up with our scooter to the mountain, top of the mountain to explore the national park. And today we don't have so good weather, it's a little bit windy fresh, today. windy, yeah. hopefully it stays dry and we so we far enjoyed the ride. The ride yes. and maybe so beautiful nature here, so we see us maybe somewhere else on the top. Now we are going to to drive up the mountain Boko to the national park. Last time we tried, but it was such a bad weather. It rained. It was so foggy, and you can't see anything. And it was freezing cold. And then we turned back and decided to come again. And today, yeah, today is a better weather, and you have a better view here. And yes. So today's great. Yeah, we are happy that we are here. Now we are going to, we just made one stop at the Buddha behind us and now yeah. we are going further up to the national park yeah. and going to see what we can explore there. This is a little big Buddha here in Cambodia. Yes. and a little bit like a ghost city yeah yes and then behind is also a small small lake and some other buildings i don't know how old they are but therefore here's also a church a french church maybe a few hundred years old and really interesting how they brought all the stuff material here to the mountain and to build a church here pepper farm <laughs> so we just arrived at Sotis pepper farm and uh, we are about from Kampot 35 minutes by scooter so um, if you got a scooter you can go with scooter if not take a tuk-tuk or a taxi 
and you arrive here there are three different people guides they will offer you a small tour about 15 to 20 minutes really kind and really well informed people and uh, they walk you through the plantation show you the plants how they grow what's the process In, this, in the middle of Campos and here are like small alleys, small ways with, uh, yeah, with different kind of food vendors. They offer like all kind of vegetables, all kind of fruits, sitting on the ground, sitting on the table, selling all their stuff. Also they have fish fresh fish they have fresh meat everything fresh and of course everything really really smelly because it's so hot and they start pretty early and everything is laying down for hours here they are of course a little bit dirty too but um, we would of course recommend you to to come here so here's a really local vibe, authentic, and yeah, you will get used to, to the smell. You can get clothing, you can get all kind of accessories, and um, yeah, it's pretty interesting to see such a market. And make sure to, to check it out, it's really central here. We will link the location in the description and we are going to get some local food here. We have some good Cambodian spring rolls and soups and all kind of uh, cakes and desserts. So Another recommendation is to go for a walk along the river Brad de Chu. And there you can go like during the day or better in the morning uh, or for sundown or like we did by night because it's like we like the atmosphere if it's dark and it's not so hot. And for us we were really lucky because during the time when we visited Kampot um, at the beginning of November there was a big water festival Bon Um Duk. And there in Cambodia, people celebrate the end of the raining season. So this happens normally around uh, November. Uh, this year it was from 7th to the 9th of November. And normally the biggest event is in Phnom Penh. So um, because it's too full, uh, we decided to stay in Kampot and to, yeah, to experience uh, how Cambodians are celebrating it and it was such a great experience. People were so happy, it was such a great atmosphere. They were dancing, laughing and, um, and of course they did the boat race uh, on their boats, uh, which was also great to see. Yeah, if you can visit Cambodia around November, make sure to visit this beautiful festival. If you guys want something else than Cambodian food or Asian food then Simple Things is a great restaurant in Kampot where you can get international and modern Russian food. They have everything is vegetarian or vegan and they have like burgers, vegan burgers, um, 
a really great pizza, they have uh, noodles and uh, they also have movie bowls and all kind of great delicious things so check them out and enjoy your dinner there. What else can you do around Kampot? So you can visit the salt plantation. Um, we haven't done it, we just drove by after visiting the pepper plantation. Then we saw a salt plantation in the area of Gaib. There you can take a tour and visit them also. I think sundown is very beautiful. You can go to the sea and also to visit Gaib. This is also what we didn't do because we didn't have the time. Um, yeah, so if you've got enough time, you can also spend a day in Gaib, go to the crab market and drive around the sea. We hope you enjoyed the video guys and thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't so far and see you in the next video.